well it's been a little while but I'm here to do a March vlog and I picked what I hope is quite an interesting day. Today, Harley and I are going for our first ever dressage clinic. You might remember Lewis Carrier. If you don't know him already, I did an interview with him a couple of years ago now. He is an international dressage rider. He is wonderful. Um, I really respect the way that he rides and looks after his horses. And he's come down. He's actually all over the country at the moment doing clinics, but he's come to the southeast and he is going to be at Nodwood House. So Harley and I are going to go along with Lynn, who you might remember from... We used to go out together a lot, actually, with Woody. She was with me on the day that I fell off Woody on that fun ride. She has a big grey horse called um, Lyric. It's my most watched video, which is why I reference it. But we used to go out together a lot, um, and so I'm looking forward to it. I am, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, since, I booked, <laughs> since I booked this clinic, Nodwood House have, like, upgraded their arena and they now have, like, mirrors and flowers and a judge's box and boards and flags. <laughs> and I'm slightly like, we've never been in an arena like that before together. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, but I'm just a little bit nervous. But I think, you know, I've, I'm setting myself up for success. I've got, I've got some human calming cookies, actually, which I have been using recently um and yeah maybe i'll tell you a bit about more them more about them in a bit but yeah we're just gonna have a traditional vlog style video today getting harley ready going i've got my gopro so i'm gonna wear it on my chest harness so hopefully you can experience a bit of it with me and yeah i've got lots to update you on so i think as we go along i'll try and give you the updates of what's been going on <laughs> Hey, tiny. Hungry. You want a little snack? Yeah. The first thing I'm doing here is actually emptying Harley's hay net on the floor. It's really unusual for him to have hay nets now. He's usually fed hay straight from the floor, and I think that's better, better position, better for his neck, no straining. So I couldn't help myself but to empty the hay net onto his floor. He's not a particularly messy horse either, so he doesn't tend to have it go everywhere. Next is just to wash off Harley's legs. I try to avoid this wherever I can. I try to leave his legs to dry, but obviously today I don't have that luxury um, because we're going in the Lorraine a bit. So I want to make sure he's nice and clean and tidy for our clinic. Um, I have also found myself having to just wash off his front legs where his brushing boot goes, brushing boots go, I should say, um, so that they don't rub against any of the mud. And then I tend to leave the back legs until they're dry and then brush them off. But here we are just doing that. He's such a good boy, bless him, just standing still. And here I am just giving the legs a dry. This is a grooming mitt, I think it's called. I got it in a sort of gift set uh, a couple of years ago and I found that it is so much better than towels for drying their legs because towels get caught on the floor, get wrapped around their legs, get covered in mud and stuff. This just fits on my hand and it allows me to dry them really easily. Absolutely genius in my opinion. These are the calming cookies that I told you about. I'm going to take one of these and then I'm going to start grooming Harley and telling you all the things that I've been up to. These are not sponsored. They are really good. I find that they really work for me, especially if you're doing something you're a bit nervous about. Okay, updates on me and Harley whilst we get ready. So the last time that I did a long form YouTube vlog was the 4th of February, so almost two months ago, which is crazy. And that was a dressage lesson vlog with Melissa Beer, which was in preparation for a competition we were doing at home. And unless you've been following along on the community tab or on the shorts tab where I'm trying to post more short form videos, you may not have the update. So let me give you the 411. So we came away with a second and third from that competition, which was really fantastic on paper. But I found that in the warm up, uh, we were in there with another horse and he did this like big leap through the air and just generally seemed a little bit overwhelmed. And I realised that it was like a gap in our training. You know, we are really lucky that we hardly have to share the school ever. And because I do most of my schooling with my coach in my weekly lesson, because I want to get it right and, you know, want to do it under her guidance, we rarely ride with other horses. And so I realised that we had this gap in our training together to stop him from feeling overwhelmed with other horses when we were in warm ups and stuff. So we started looking for more opportunities to do clinics with other horses. So we did a pole work clinic at home with about four other horses. And then when I actually went and did my next competition, which was at Felbridge Showground, which is local to us, I did a lot of prep for it. And then I asked um, 
a coach, not my coach, she wasn't available, but Sarah Hartley, who's taught me before on my part loan horses, if she would come with me and sort of help me coach through the warm up to keep me calm. And that was the first time I think that I used the calming cookies and found that they were just really, really helpful for me. That was a super, super positive experience. We did most of our warm up. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We had this plan of like warming up mostly in the car park and not over kind of overdoing it in the warm up. But actually, he was coping really well. And we actually managed to be in that warm up um, with other horses coming in and out. And he had a couple of moments where he was like a little bit, he did a couple of like crow hops, but I was able to work him through it. And we ended up with our best score that we've ever had. So I was super, super pleased with that. And we were like, right, this is working let's keep going so we kept going and we did another clinic at home and then we did another competition at home as well and, I, and actually for the one at home where he'd had the problem in the warm-up initially I did most of my warm-up out hacking because the indoor arena where we have to warm up at home is a lot smaller and I just thought that space might freak him out so did most of my warming up out hacking then took him in the indoor arena when there was no one in there and we actually ended up coming first in one of our classes and second in our other class. And it was our highest score ever. So we got 67.8%, which is the highest score we've ever had. It was a jump from 65.5% at Felbridge Showground. So it just felt really, really positive. Felt like we're starting to get him more comfortable with warm-ups and with other horses. We went on uh, last weekend, we went and did a pole work clinic at a local venue, so we hacked over. Um, he did stand up <laughs> on his back legs in the first few minutes again, just that overwhelm. But the coach was already prepped, she knew he was young. I told her like what I was coming for. She put us with these two lovely kind of older horses. Once he'd done that, we got him working straight away and he produced some really, really beautiful work and was actually fine. It was just that little moment of overwhelm that I guess I know that other people with young horses have struggled with this. So going into today, I was feeling a little bit apprehensive about being there with another horse. I was like, how is he going to react? Is he going to be better? Is he going to be worse? But I knew that it is important for him to keep having these moments. So actually... Just yesterday, before this morning, we went into a grid work clinic that was happening at the yard and my coach was so lovely. She just let us go in there 10 minutes early, walk around on my own, have other horses join us. And we ended up being in there with about five other horses um, towards the end. We were trotting around, we did our little warm up and then we left and we went for a hack. And I think it's these little bits of exposure that are really helping him to kind of cope with this kind of environment. And as you'll see later on in the vlog, it really pays dividends. So that's going really well. Training in general is going really well. Um, I should tell you too that I am now able to finally announce that I am sponsored by SEIB Insurance Brokers. I did a whole post on this, so pause if you wanna read it. Um, but I've worked with them for a long time now and we've been waiting a really long time to be able to announce this. Uh, so that is very exciting. What else? I have a bridal fitter coming tomorrow um, to get a bespoke fitted bridal for Harley, which I'm really excited about because I just feel like the one he has never quite feels like it's a perfect fit. Um, and that's kind of where we're at. So yeah, that's, that's you caught up. So with all that in mind, let's get back to today's clinic. Just grab a couple of bits from the car, one of which is this block and this band. If you've watched the channel for years, you might remember that I did a biomechanics session with a guy called Andy Thomas. Um, and I did a kind of reset with my saddler recently, who is also sort of test qualified. And they focus on rider asymmetry and how that kind of feeds to the horse. And so I have a few activation exercises that I'm currently doing before I ride to try and balance me out a bit. Just giving my boots a very quick wipe. I'm actually taking my competition boots because my everyday ones are so gross now. I feel I should make a bit of an effort. So at this point the lorry is packed. I didn't really film any of me packing because I was getting on with it, but I had to use a step to put the hay net up into the part of the lorry. I was gifted this beautiful M&S hamper recently and so it gave me great delight to create a picnic for this day out. Honestly, half the fun with these things is the horses and the other half is like fun food with friends. So I just packed this full of things, including including those little like harming cookies that I use. But I just thought that was very cute, along with my much beloved thermos flask as well. So the boys are in and we are well on our way. I am very excited. 
feeling less nervous now and more feeling excited. So this is Nodwood House. You may also remember Nodwood House. I did a yard tour with them a little while ago and we actually filmed the SEIB uh, horse insurance series here as well. So you might recognize it from both of those videos. The boys traveled really well. You can definitely tell that Harley's coat is changing because he's getting a few little rubs from his rugs, bless his heart. But I think he's looking really well. You'll also have to let me know if you think he's grown since the vlogs when I first bought him in October, because I think he has. So I gave Harley a calming cookie as well uh, before we left and then one just... Did I give him one when we arrived? I think I did. I think... Yeah, I gave him a premium performance calming cookie. I've been doing this for a couple of competitions and I think they just helped to give him a little bit of self-confidence too. I'm also well aware of the fact that his confidence is coming from me and so if I'm calm, he's pretty calm. But I just feel like it's nice to make sure that everything is a good experience. And I'd set myself a goal for this session and all I wanted to achieve actually was just to walk around the arena and feel positive um, because I had actually been quite nervous before and you're gonna see I had like completely exceeded my own expectations um, but yeah because it was a new venue and it can be quite a sort of big atmosphere that's all I wanted um, but he went well above and beyond bless his heart and also I wouldn't be doing my job as a proud brand ambassador of Toggy if I didn't let you know that I'm wearing new pieces from the Toggy collection in this video I will link out to them in the description and also I have a new code for Equitex so if you want to buy an Equitex you can get free delivery and a free storage bag by using the code RIDINGWITH the details of which I will also link out in the description so you have them Alright, on with the show We've arrived GoPro on. I feel like I've strapped a child to my chest. Harley's ready. He's being such a good boy. It's two arenas over there. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel like the last couple of days I've been quite nervous, but now I'm here. I'm like, this is fine. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to switch, I think, to my GoPro, provided that nothing malfunctions. You shall join me on there. I missed the first few minutes of my filming because I didn't have the bolt on my GoPro and it kind of flipped forward. But anyway, so we've just started walking around the arena and Lewis has asked each of us, so I'm sharing the lesson with Lynn, I should say, but we're kind of doing separate things. Lynn works at Novice and I work at Intro, which is sort of two levels below. So uh, Lewis has just asked a little bit about me and Harley. So I'm just letting him know about me and him and what we're kind of doing and my goals for the session. And I have to say already my confidence is feeling sky high. We're in this indoor arena. He hasn't reacted to being in there with another horse, which, you know, before he would kind of want to jog towards them. He hasn't overly looked at himself in the mirror like this is basically as much as he did, which is wonderful. And I'm just already feeling really, really confident. So I feel like I started off really, really well. So Lewis asked us to just kind of go around and walk around like we normally would and then warm up as if we normally would as well. Good time. Let him see everything. Yeah. Okay. Even this is beyond my expectations. I was like, all I want to do is get on and feel nice and not have him stand up. So we've done it. You've won already. Good boy. Yeah. So I wanted to share that moment because I thought that it was really interesting and useful for anybody else who has that young horse who maybe finds warm-ups a little bit stressful. I think most people go through that stage. The idea that you are his comfort blanket and I thought was really nice and it echoes the things we've been working on and the things I've had in other lessons with my coach as well around just giving him things to do from the off so that he's not just like 
giving himself things to do, <laughs> as it were, and not in a behavioural way, but just in the sense that he might be feeling a bit worried and therefore start looking for things to do. So once we did our walk, we started trotting round and Lewis has gone over to teach Lynn. He kind of batted back and forth between me and her, which actually I found incredibly helpful because it gave Harley a chance to have a little rest in between. Um, he's fitter and stronger than he was, but we don't work him for 45 minutes straight. We give his brain and his body a break quite frequently. So I sort of did my thing. And then it's also really handy for Harley to be just working around another horse who's doing something independently because it really mimics a warm up. Even if this is on a much smaller, quieter scale, it's all good experience. So I was feeling really, really confident at this stage. So in the trot with Lewis, I went on to practice some walk trot transitions, trot walk transitions. And what we were focusing on was trying to keep Harley in a lovely frame that works him properly over his back. And a little bit later on, actually, Lewis was like, he has a tendency, as in Harley has a tendency, to come up into the bridle. That is his default. That's where he goes. Um, he's quite an upright horse. And when he gets tension, he goes up there as well. And Lewis was showing me, he was like, that feeling that you have there, where he, he was kind of down a little bit more. And Lewis was like, that's where you want him, a bit more of a lower, relaxed frame to encourage him to work over his back and help him to realise that that is where it's comfortable. It's really helpful for me of like the feeling I want. Obviously, I did a little bit of warm up and have been doing bits of warm up where I've been trying to get him a bit longer and lower. But knowing that that's a nice frame to school in, it's just a nice, it's just nice things to hear. It confirms, it gives you confidence. Um, and yeah, it was good. Boy. Yeah, good. And then those moments where you get it, like, yeah, that's good. Then it's keeping those moments for longer. And of course, they might come and go. Try and keep it there in a nice frame for as long as you have. Three. Well done. Just give him a little stretch. <laughs> when you're riding your young ones, yeah. I know some people like give them a little, a little pat or a little give. Yeah. Do you do that or, or do you find that, because I sometimes find it disrupts the like contact. Exactly, yeah. And then... There's definitely a time and place, you know, control. Because, you know, the moment that the stage that you're at, yeah. you almost need to give him something to just keep him supported all the time. Yeah. Because, yeah, like you say, sometimes that little path kind of ruins it. So yeah, I mean, you can definitely use, you know, use your voice there to sort of say, yeah, good. Okay. And, you know, if there's a, if you feel like it's going really well, you're like, oh, that's good. Then, then a little path. But as long as it doesn't sort of, yeah, if it disrupts the connection and the frame, yeah. then, then yeah, use your voice a little bit. Okay. So we played a little bit more in the trot with some circles to try and keep that connection coming through and having Harley work correctly over his back. And then we finished up with some canter. And then before we know it, the 45 minutes was up. I was very proud of him today. We're just waiting for the gate to open. Well, that was amazing. I feel really ashamed for being nervous now not ashamed that's the wrong word but he just was incredible he just like didn't put a foot wrong i felt so confident we even cantered and lewis is a wonderful instructor because he's so kind and enthusiastic and encouraging and he never makes you feel less than and considering how incredible the ride he is to do that for riders like me who are basically riding intro is like it's just really lovely and it's so nice to be able to learn from these people but not feel that you're not good enough you know because that's what it's all about i'm so proud of him hello home time just gave harley a very quick sponge not a lot he was all right he was just a little bit warm in the lorry and where his coat is changing i didn't want him to be itchy of course we never want them to be itchy do we so did that and then he went in his box literally for about 10 minutes and then he went straight out in the field. Oh, just standing by my car, ready to go, reflecting on a lovely day. Um, I'm so terrible at filming once I get home. So Harley's gone out in the field. He went straight out pretty much when he came home, which is really lovely. And yeah, what a lovely, lovely day. Just been a really wonderful few months of kind of these little experiences where we've been going out, building that confidence, doing these little things. It's been lovely. Um, I'm feeling really positive about spring and it's nice, you know, we're coming up to Woody's anniversary in about a week's time, actually it's less than a week's next Friday when I'm filming this. Um, and I'm just kind of feeling overwhelmingly grateful and really glad to be feeling positive and having these experiences and what a difference from a year ago. So 
yeah looking forward to spring and summer of good training and I am going to try and do a monthly vlog if I can't do weekly where I share kind of a day out or something that I think is interesting to you but keeping that same sort of style of the kind of the vlog so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time and uh yeah bye for now